Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. It works like a weather stripping, right? It's, it's you know, one, one side of it is nailed in to the, the frame and then it kind of comes out in an angle, and when the door closes on it, it kind of squeezes that metal together to create, you know, some semblance of a... Seat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And is that material... Now, go ahead. Is that material zinc or bronze? I think it's bronze. Okay. Uh, but we want to replace that completely with something that, you know, is is uh you know offers a better seal um, well where would i look to find you know something that's like that well you know, i mean that that's what's called v cushion and that material that's 19th century technology and when you say something that seals better i would say if you remove r factor from from the conversation i can't think of something that's going to seal better uh and last longer that material that material will last a century um and the only time it's replaced is when it's been unintentionally damaged, actually. Um, so you might want to consider yeah. just going back with that material. And, um, you know, because there are so many options of this uh, sort of concept uh, in terms of gasketing, a tour through a catalog might be the right way to go. But um, everything that you're going to put into the rabbit or the face of the stop is either going to be curved or held on with adhesive. And I don't, right. the kerf is nice, as you know, because it's cheap, it's effective, and it's easy to replace a decade down the road when you need to. But the right. adhesive right. stuff, I'm, I'm suspect of that, having the legs. You know, it, it's, it's a great idea, but I, I, I wouldn't want it on my door 10 years later. That's all going to get peeled off. Um, right, yeah, yeah. I've seen some of that on, on different customers as well, and we've removed it. Um, yeah, the, the trouble with the, you know, with the, uh, you know, the bronze or the zinc, and I, I honestly don't remember with this one, um, is that, you know, it's it's usually bent a little bit in spots. You know, it's not, it hasn't been maintained terribly well, yeah. and it just doesn't provide a good look. It's it's tarnished, yeah. you know, on and on. And is there anything that functions similarly to that type of an idea that would, would, you know, either screw in or nail into the the stop or the frame, and then provide that you know resistance to uh, to to create the seal. Well, anything you'd add perimeter gasketing is going to be applied, you know, screwed to the soffit of the stop, and you're going to right. see that, you know. Um, yeah. So it's it's not concealed when the door is closed, and and that's all. That material is also susceptible to damage when you're going through the opening, you know, with stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take a look and see, and I'll, I'll talk to the customer again and see if maybe there's a way we can, we can tidy it up and, and, you know, keep that, um, you know, uh, original to the project. So. Yeah. I mean, you could also get real fancy and, and semi conceal it by, you know, it, by by doing a a, a rabbited door edge because they do make nesting hooks that work really well when you have a rabbited door edge. Um, but you know that's 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 mortising that's rabbiting the edge of the door and it's also running the risk of complicating the hardware. Um, you know, if you look at a hard a hardware catalog from 125 years ago, they have pages of rabbited edge door locks because it was so common to rabbit doors uh, door edges then. Um, really. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. It was it was like standard. I think <laughs> it was just beautiful, and because of that step in the edge of the door, it really gave you the ability to seal better. Because now I've got this weird angle um, that you know the intrusion of the exterior needs to get through as well, uh, preventing light from coming through real effectively as well. Um, right. Yeah. Now, now you could yeah. you could mortise into the edge of the door. Just run a uh, you could run a channel. A mortise, you would take a router and run a channel down the vertical edges of the door and insert into that an aluminum T 
slot extrusion into which slides a pile. And that stuff's nice is because it's concealed. Um, and you can, you can take it a step further if you will, but you're, you're getting into exotic work on the door. Um, that just, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm afraid that's beyond my, uh, beyond, beyond my, uh, skill set. Um, well, the, well the you can learn the skill. I, um, it's just, you know, as a client want to spend $500 of labor, you know, to, to, well, to gasket, I mean, the, you know, and me yeah. spend, you know, 20 hours, you know, doing trials before I actually work on their door, you know, so yeah, yeah. make sure I do it right there. The first yeah. time, quote. Many, uh, many two by fours have been sacrificed in the process of me getting it right the first time. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, no kidding. So, um, all right. Well, hey, you've been extremely helpful. I am going to place the order for uh, the. Uh, where did it go? Q one oh seven is what it is. Yeah, but I thought I just had. Yeah, there it is. Yep. So I'm gonna. Take two of those, and I'm good to go. Thank you very much. Anytime, sir. My name is Richard. Thank you. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.